Yeah, good morning, it's Dr. Mark Jeffrey, uh, uh, Ulla Cosmetic Medical Laser Clinic. Our patient today is concerned about the neck laxity here. Um, threads won't be effective for this. Uh, she doesn't want to uh, face a neck lift. So what we're going to be doing is putting a laser fiber in and we're going to tighten the skin around this area in the lower leg, neck here and we'll do some work at the back there to tighten there. Very easy procedure, no downtime. Uh, it's often called the lunchtime neck lift um, and we use a very tiny fiber to heat the skin to give a almost if you can imagine a shrink wrap effect all right thank you all right you can see the amount of laxity here that we're going to be treating and i've marked her out into the chin the mid neck and the posterior area and a little bit of the jaw if you just have a look here you can see that's a little bit of fiber that we'll be using that just goes underneath the skin thank you And we are just subdermal. Sometimes you hear a little popping for sound and that can be a bit of fat. I'm gonna do this in three, three levels for our patient. You can hear the popping here as we go. Swap hands. You do have to be a bit careful here because you don't want to get a laser burn on the skin. Get a little bit more hyper extension. Now the beauty about these kind of treatments is, you, you know, compared to doing lipolysis, is that this lasts several years, and also you don't get that severe swelling that you get with lipolysis. So. These little fibers have allowed me to really sculpt the face. And when I combine this with thread lifting, uh, get really good results. Uh, the fiber lifting, this type of fiber lifting where we actually remodel with collagen and elastin and skin tightening, does last longer than your typical PDO threads. That I go to with this is slightly deeper, it's not quite subdermal. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to be tightening this tissue here. Coming down to the mid neck now. And this is purely skin tightening, you can literally see the skin shrinking in front of you. I have put a little bit of local in. I feel it just makes it a little bit more comfortable, but you don't have to. So just subdermal at the moment, just underneath the skin. I'm not using high power. Once again, off, off. What can I say? Off. Oh. Okay, on. Yeah. One, two. 
on. Just here on the Savaka mantle crease, which I'll tighten up as well. I'll do a little bit under the jowl. Okay, so we finished the, the fiber lift here. Um, mm -hmm. Done the submental area, the neck area, contoured the lower neck and the almost uh, post, pre post uh, auricular area here. Mm -hmm. um, so, where do we, wh what is this procedure? Where do we use this procedure? It can be used on many different. Uh, mo uh, modalities so you can melt fat with it and you can tighten skin so if we start from the head up it's good for eye bags uh, and usually just one treatment you can also tighten the skin of the upper eyelid potentially do a little bit of an eyebrow lift if you want you can do the barcode here if the patient's got the jowls is another area that's difficult to treat um, the so-called turkey neck or uh, which is um, loose skin really that we've had uh, it's good for that you can also if there's fat present and some people have a, fit, a, a lot of um, lower jaw fat you can also melt that fat do a little bit of liposuction as well with manually and then tighten the skin uh, you can use it under the arms so do that yeah so under these areas yeah. you can get a bit of once again difficult area to treat sometimes I do that and threads Mm -hmm. Aptos threads are quite good for this. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do it on the belly for tightening skin, uh, inner thighs, upper knees. Uh, you can use it. There's no downtime with this procedure, uh, certainly with the, the lifting procedure, the thread, uh, the optic fiber lift. Um, maybe a little bit of swelling the next day, but that's about it. And then we rely on, like you do with threads, we rely on, on, uh, collag on collagen and elastin remodeling of the skin, which is good what this laser stimulates. So, so, so far, it, what I tend to see in the practice is people having uh, treatments done largely because they have a tool in their hand and the, the belief is that they can treat everything. We see this with fibroblasting, we see it with HIFU. The results are suboptimal compared to an endo lift, because we are able to put enough heat underneath the skin, we're not limited by the outside uh, surface temperature, which will cause burns. And we can actually go and literally sculpt the face. So what we tend to see is everyone, uh, many people come to us and say, oh, I had PDO threads, you know, lots of PDO threads in my face. And I was told I was getting a thread lift and they spent over a thousand dollars. I mean, this is just nonsense. PDO threads do not lift skin. All right, if you're gonna try and lift skin and create a vertical vector, you need to know and be trained in what you're doing. These options exist. We can use radio frequency to go under the skin. We can use this device. And of course, there will be some patients that don't want to go to this uh, type of procedure and might want to choose HIFU. But remember, HIFU you don't have a lot of control of and you can sometimes melt too much fat and we've had patients that have had nerve injuries that have ended up from another provider in hospital. So my message out to you, this is a, a useful device for tightening skin. As I said to you, it's like a shrink wrap. You have to be realistic in your expectations. It has much more longevity than uh, some of the other treatments out there. Um, but that's not to say I don't combine treatments. If a patient needs a thread lift, I will do a mechanical or a, uh, a suture thread lift. Um, I may still go on like I've done with this patient. We have done a thread lift, what is that, a couple of years ago? Okay, mm. and she's come on great guns, uh, but she didn't want to dress her neck. She decided she liked the effect that she had before and she wants to do something about her neck. So understanding the tools in your toolbox in cosmetic medicine is very important because ultimately you can you know that you can offer the client a treatment that is likely to work and there's some evidence at least that this works remember things like fibroblasting high fuse have never been any head-to-head -head control trials with these devices 
So whilst people might say, oh, this is the best device in the world, there's no head-to-head -head control trials, and there, there won't be. It just means when you choose a provider, you need to make sure that that provider is competent in the tools in his toolbox and is able to give you the best options so you do not waste your precious dollars, which in this climate at the moment, uh, uh, this economic climate, all right, what you don't want is buyer's remorse. If you would like to discuss any of the treatments we, uh, we offer, you're more than welcome to contact the clinic. Thank you.